What if you become the narcissist ideal version of you? What if you satisfy their conception of what is most suitable? What if you become what they desire? What if you become everything that they wanted you to be? When you are around the narcissist, all they do is point out your faults and mistakes, your flaws and imperfections. All they do is put you down and complain. They express their dissatisfaction and annoyance about you. They grumble and moan. They always have something to, compl to complain about. There always seems to be something wrong with you or something that you need to do. There's always something missing. There's always, always something that's not right. Which then gives the narcissist the opportunity to play the victim. They can then state that they are suffering. They can say that you caused them to feel that way. Because of something you did or did not do. Or something you failed to accomplish. They can just blame it all on you. They train you to look at yourself as though you're deficient in something. And that is why they cannot give you the love and respect that you would otherwise deserve. If only you could just change a few things about you. If only you could do something for them or accomplish what they want. Then everything would be fine. There would be no problems. There would be nothing to complain about. Or at least, that's what they want you to think. If you become the narcissist ideal version of you, it's not going to solve anything. It will only cause more problems. Because although the narcissist may constantly complain about you, they're actually very comfortable in those situations. They like having something to complain about. At least then, they can blame everything on you. If you became the narcissist ideal version of you, it would only trigger their inferiority complex. It would trigger them to reflect on how worthless and insignificant they feel. They may complain about you and put you down. But the truth is, they actually don't want anything to change. They want things to stay the same. They don't want you to become their ideal version of you. They wouldn't even know how to support you at that level. Their excuse for not giving you the love and respect you deserve is that there's something not right with you. You're not achieving something that they want. Or you need to fix something. That's their excuse for treating you in the way that they do. But if you suddenly changed everything and it became that ideal version of you, they wouldn't know how to treat a person like that anyway. Because they're not like that. They're damaged inside, so all they can do is damage you. 
All they're bringing to you is their brokenness, which then keeps you stuck. It stops you from elevating. It stops you from becoming better. Which is exactly what they want. Because then they have an excuse for treating you in the way that they do. They can justify their abuse. The narcissist greatly fears that you will outgrow them. They fear that you will leave them behind, which is what compels them to keep you down. Because if you become a better version of yourself, you're going to look at them and wonder what you're even doing around them. The only reason why you think you deserve this treatment is because they've managed to keep you down. They've targeted your self-worth and self-esteem. They made you believe that this is what you deserve. Because they don't want you to be better. If you were better, what purpose would they have in your life? They wouldn't be able to control you. You would just go off and do your own thing. Because you would realise that they're just holding you back. Which is the last thing that they want you to do. So even if you do fix everything that they complain about. And you become their ideal version of you. It's not going to change anything. They're not going to suddenly change their behavior towards you. They're not going to give you the love and respect that you deserve. They're not going to give you compliments or praise. It's not going to fix anything. It's just going to cause more problems. It's only going to make the, it's only going to make them want to destroy you even more. Because in their minds, you're just showing them how much of a better person you are than them. You're making them feel small. They just see it as an attack on their character. It makes them feel very uncomfortable. They would rather you just stay down and just keep doing what you're doing. They're not constantly grumbling and moaning because they want you to change something. They're doing it to weaken you, to make you lose confidence in yourself. So that you don't even have the desire to grow or become anything. They're not trying to build you up. They're trying to break you down. If they wanted you to be anything greater, they would have given you the tools to do that. They would have done it in a more constructive manner. They would have been more helpful and encouraging. Their behavior was not intended to have a useful or beneficial purpose. It was intended to break you down. You may not have realized it at the time. But just look at how they've made you feel about yourself. Do you feel good about yourself? Do you feel strong or confident? Do you feel like you can accomplish anything? Do you feel like you can take on the world? The narcissist may constantly grumble and moan 
as though they want you to change or fix something. But they always leave you with a feeling like you can't accomplish anything. Because that's exactly how they want you to feel. However you feel when you're around a narcissist is exactly how they want you to feel. They want you to feel hopeless and powerless as though there's nothing you can do to fix or change anything. Because that's exactly how they feel. They have no expectations of good or success for themselves. They've already accepted that they're predestined to never find happiness. So why should they be happy for you? What incentive do they have to treat you right or to build you up just so you can feel good, just so you can feel pleasure and happiness? when they're still going to be miserable. When they have no hope for themselves and their lives. The narcissist has to make you feel the way they feel, the way that they've always felt. That's the only way that they can feel comfortable. By feeling like they're not alone in their miserable existence. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.